This is really a very, very good night for the American people. This year, I am happy to announce there will be no government shutdown. As of Friday night, the government is staying open. And because of bipartisan cooperation, we're keeping the government open without any poison pills or harmful cuts to vital programs. <clears throat> now, keeping the government is a good outcome, of course, but we have a lot more work to do <coughs> after Thanksgiving. We must finish passing President Biden's emergency supplemental with aid to Israel, Ukraine, humanitarian assistance for innocent civilians in Gaza, and funds for the Indo-Pacific. We will keep working with Leader McConnell on a way forward. Hello, family. Welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. I'm your host, Richard Harmon. Uh, death, taxes, and the U.S. spending obscene amounts of money is what we can, can, can guarantee uh, in this country. So the U.S. has both spit, passed a stopgap bill. Uh, we know previously that there was a possible government shutdown and a possible uh, default to the national debt that happened um, in, I think it was May or June, I believe. And with that, what happened was they ended up pushing that, that particular date down the road until, um, you know, about, I think it was September or something like that. They pushed another stopgap bill that pushed that date up until here, November 17th, it looks like, which would have been a date or the 18th. And now they've signed another bill that will push this date back until January 19th. Uh, chances are most likely they're going to push it back even further, which will be close to one year now that they just basically just kicked the can down the road. So we all know in advance that, you know, many people are hoping that, um, you know, a deep recession will happen and, you know, government spending will stop. But in reality, you know, this, this what, what, what would we be asking the government to do? What would be to cut their wealth in half or such? You know, because the, the for a great recession or depression to happen, the value of assets, which many of these people own, whether it's stocks, whether it's buildings, whether it's uh, property, um, there those pro those things will be cut in half, and we we know those are in government are not in the, the business of losing money. So so today we're gonna go over now just a little bit about what has happened in the recent uh, weeks. I'm going to play a video here. We'll come back and watch that just after that. It was two weeks ago, of course, that a, a bipartisan group of House members passed our substantive and immediate aid to Israel. Uh, we thought that was important. It was the first big thing that I did when I became Speaker. The aid package meets every specific ask of the Biden administration supplemental funding request because those are the requests that came straight from our ally Israel. It should have already soared through Congress. It should be signed into law, but it's not. And so we're calling on the Senate to get serious about this and get serious about supporting Israel. Um, the Middle East is a tinderbox right now, we know that, and we have to do all we can to avoid a broader regional conflict and prevent further escalation. And so it is absolutely imperative that we send this aid to Israel immediately and show the rest of the world that these acts of terror against our allies will not just be met with unflinching condemnation, but with steadfast support. It is in our national interest to do so, and I think everyone who looks at this objectively has to agree that that's true. All right, perfect. So here it is now. It's uh, the Scott Stop Gap bill has been passed. It's on its way to being signed by the uh, President of the United States. So after that, when coming back in the new year, what do we have waiting for us? A hundred and six billion dollars that's been waiting to be spent in other places. Um, you know, many people are saying, "Why does this matter? Why do, do we care at all?" Um, but you know, <laughs> if 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 the citizens of the United States were to request, you know, ten billion dollars for just their own personal spending. Um, we all know how that request would go. So there's a $106 billion request uh, Joe Biden has put placed on the desk. It says that there's $61 billion are set for Ukraine. Um, the, the includes $30 billion for the Department of Defense to help supply Ukraine with weapons, replenish U.S. stocks. There is also $14 billion to support the military intelligence in Ukraine and $481 million to help assist the Ukrainians arriving in the U.S. Uh, we have $14 billion for Israel. We have $13 billion for border protection, um, includes the additional patrols and 13, 16 new asylum officers and 375 new judge teams. Additionally, uh, there's $10 billion for humanitarian assistance. Um, this includes this request includes $9 billion for humanitarian needs across Israel. And then there's additional money for those who are at the border. So we see here there's a lot of spending that is going to be happening. All right, perfect. So finally, um, my thoughts on this is this is definitely going to be inflationary. So, um, you know, the part of the issue that we're having right now is that there is a, a elevated amount of spending. 
And as long as this continues on, this will continue to have repercussions throughout the country. Um, we, we as a nation don't have money. And what all this is means is adding additional credit cards to the balance um, with that amount rolling over. So, um, you know, there's it's expectation for a, um, a, a recession here in 2024 to finally be called. And it's likely going to happen. But we see any way that the, the spending will continue. Um, we should not really expect prices to return to normal because the money overall in the country will continue to rise. Um, some of these overall bills and all, overall uh, debts are coming to maturity. And in the next few years, they will have to be refinanced again. So um, there's a, ma- a massive amount of money in the country. And the, the greater the, the debt grows, the greater amount that will be needed to um, to uh, service that debt. So um, there, there isn't much of a, a reduction that's coming again be, because of the money supply will continue to be advanced. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Please comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day.